Okay, I'm very excited about this, so I'm making this devlog even though it's not finished yet because I am finally here with the development process of the terrain system of Cave. So I want to showcase a little bit of how everything is going. Um, as you can see, uh, it is implemented. I'm walking around here in this huge terrain and there is physics, there is level of details. I'll go uh, I'll talk about that in a second but that's it that's basically hit terrain is uh into cave and it will be available for you all uh in the next release so i will talk a little bit not much in this video because i don't want to spoil too much and every time i talk too much people say hey man uh you, you don't need to talk much to i don't know explain everything anyways so that's it there um this is the demo project i will add this character um add this terrain of course to the characters in the demo because other than just a boring scene it it will be much better to have a terrain i will probably add uh, a forest in this terrain very soon because i'm working on the tools man it's so cool to see the shadows of the character i don't know if you guys can see over there but it's so nice because it's like such a huge terrain and like you can see the distance uh distant mountains also have shadows and it's good to have uh this kind of thing uh, working and going on and it really gives a great sense of like scale in a game when you have a terrain system and i'm like in the top place of this terrain and i, I haven't even figured out like uh, of course i'm not an artist so i'm not sure how to make a, a decent looking terrain a decent looking environment or anything like that but you probably know if you are an artist but still it's enough to see and have like this large sense of scale man and it's so nice Anyways, let me quit the game here real quick and show a bit of the how it works behind the scenes. So there's basically a terrain component. At the moment, there's no, it's not possible to scoop the terrain, but of course, um, in the release for the terrain system, it will be able to you will be able to scoop. I'm not even sure if I have the rights to use this, but it's just a test, okay? So if you're the owner of this, don't worry, uh, it's just for test but there's a terrain system and you can adjust a bunch of settings here if you want like a larger terrain for example let's increase you can see by my camera I cannot even handle the rest i need to probably change here the the debug information of this camera let's change the clip end a little bit here we go now it's enough so you can see it's a gigantic terrain now and it is supported uh, I can, of course, adjust the height of this terrain, make it much more steeper or not. And since I moved it, my guy is probably behind the ground right now. But let me select the player and make it go up here. And if I play the game, you can see the player is selected. Let me select something else. Uh, but the terrain is working as you can expect and it's now like 10 times bigger so can you make the terrain much bigger yes you can as you can see here um, it is like that let me open actually the free camera here we go the game is running by the way and you can see that my player is just like a dot now but i still have a lot more to cover in the terrain again the camera is not even handling anything uh, everything as you can see in the distance it's appearing disappearing so yeah very nice huge thing um and if you ask yes i can show you the the bug physics the, the bug visualization the wireframe and it's actually uh, optimized so it is not hindering behind me it is not hindering like the sorry the parts that uh, were not supposed to be hindered and of course if i enable the free cam again you will see that the distance terrain is much lower resolution as you can see increase the field of view again and it does have like everything that you need in order to not hinder everything as you can see it starts to increasing the resolution of the train and see it's very high the performance not great in wireframe mode, by the way, but it's 60 frames per second. And it does not have any problems at all. And also, it does have shadows, as you can see, again. So yeah, that's a sneak peek. I don't want to show much, 
but the, the terrain system is coming uh, as long as a bunch of other stuff and this is probably like the thing that i'm most excited about like at all because man this is so nice it's so nice to have this uh, system implemented anyways let me know in the comments what you think about that and i see you in the next video bye